So we're at Angon and DCI World in Nice, France. I'm here with Paul Hackett from BT Island. Paul, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, so you've been talking here today uh, about a recent trial uh, that BT Island did with, with BT Group as well. Can you tell us a little bit about why you were doing that trial? Yeah, so I guess the kind of the drivers and significance of the trial is we, we currently see kind of capacity moving up year by year. So we have to respond to end user demand and then we see the 5G on the horizon and what that might do to the network. So these innovation trials in terms of higher capacities and higher transport links are key to, to uh, meeting that future demand. Okay, so can you tell us about some of the technologies you were using in this trial because uh, you, you're kind of pushing the boundaries with, with what's available out there in, in, in this yeah. trial? Yeah, um, so yeah, we're very eager to kind of push the envelope and do something innovative in the, in the space and look to these new emerging technologies. Um, the actual components are kind of what constituted this trial was uh, 400 gig ethernet and um, so not I, I like the term it native ethernet not the 4 by 100 gig but the actual 4 by uh, 400 uh, ethernet super channel and then we also uh, used PCS which is a pulse uh, sorry a probabilistic uh, constellation shaping a new technique if you will to enable carriers to drive signals further along the network and higher bandwidth rates. Okay. Uh, and was the trial successful? What were the kind of what were the takeaways? Yeah, so I guess key takeaways from the trial we saw um, the performance of PCS, the significant performance uh, over the conventional uh, 16 QAM 200 gig um, conventional modulations. We saw a real improvement in terms of its uh, prefect BER, its bit error rate. Okay. So it's exciting that we can drive these signals much further and basically that's what we saw. The performance was far enhanced. Okay, great. So that was a, a trial on, on your live network, on, on a route that is, is commercially live now, but you're also trialling even newer, even more cutting edge technologies in the labs at the moment. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so that's that's something that's kind of, I guess, industry leading at the moment, and that's our um, 1.2 T terabit uh, innovation trials with Huawei. Um, that has a spectral width, uh, for those that are interested in, of 150 gigahertz, and it's an uber efficient, very, very efficient uh, transport mechanism. We've managed to drive that 75 kilometers, and again, if we look to the, that prefect uh, BER rate, really good results fr from that. Okay, and that's in the lab at the moment, but coming yeah. to, a, to a network trial at some point? Yeah, that, that's in the lab, and we've deployed it on lab-type-based fiber, so what we would like to do is demonstrate that type of technology in a, in a, in a more real setting on legacy fiber systems. So, we would like to think that we'll be in a position to do something in that space in the next couple of months, so it's, it's one to watch. Okay, great. And then looking into the optical crystal ball, what can you see coming down the pipe in the next sort of you know, three to five years in terms of uh, emerging technologies or capabilities on, on optical transport networks? Okay, yeah, so uh, I think certainly 100 gig is more than mature. We're probably reaching a tipping point now where 200 gig is going to take over as the main transport mechanism. Uh, we also see the emergence of PCS, which we've just concluded our trial five months ago. So we think on longer distance rates, or we will we'll certainly see that. And we can also use it to accommodate uh, higher, higher bandwidth interfaces, such as the 400 gig. Five years time, three years time, I think we'll see those 200 gig um, transport mechanisms mature. And then we'll finally probably see the likes of the 1.2 T and 600 gig um, coming into, into the market. Okay, excellent. Well, Paul, really interesting what you're doing at BT Island and across the, the BT group. Look forward to catching up next year and, and, and finding out where you've got with these, with these trials and tests. Super. Thanks very much. Thank you.